this. Really, really, really need to do this. All right. Welcome back. You're watching the number one home improvement YouTube channel in the entire world. Today, I'm going to be installing garage shelves on this wall here. They're big shelves. They stick out two feet. Now they're about six feet wide. I'm going to have to trim them. They're made by Flexi Mounts. I've installed their products before in the past. If you've watched all my videos, you may have seen uh, me install some hanging shelving ceiling storage. Big, like a loft. It says this can support 400 pounds. Uh, easy one person installation with all hardware included. I hope it's as easy as they say it is. I'm budgeting about 30 minutes to install these two sets of shelves. There'll be links in the description for both these shelves as well as uh, that hanging system that comes that that I put on the ceiling of that other garage. As you can see, there's some big shelves. There are eight sections of the wire shelving. They go too deep, and this is where they join right here. They use lag bolts. I suggest going into the studs. Real easy to find the studs on this wall. They do come with these inserts, these plastic inserts here, that you can use with these same lag lag bolts going to be pre-drilling with a drill and a drill bit and I'll be driving the lag bolt in with my old 18 volt XRP impact I'm going to be using a level to make sure the shelves are straight I'm just putting in the top lag. Then I'll go back, pre-drill the rest, and put the rest of the lags in. So when I do these how-to videos, I often get comments down below. Where people say, Hey, that wasn't a how-to video. You didn't, you didn't go over how to, how to do it. A lot of people learn just by watching. Some learn by reading the directions. If you can't figure out how to install these shelves by watching this video, call your wife over and have her watch the video. Give her the power tools. You go do some laundry. Maybe, uh, maybe bake some cookies. Your wife will handle it. Piece of cake. Now that all the brackets are up, held up by the top bolt. I'm gonna go pre-drill the other two and repeat. So as you can see, I want one section of shelves on these two brackets and one section on these two brackets. It's supposed to build a six foot run. Uh, we've got a little less than six foot and I also don't, don't want this corner sticking way out you know, into the doorway or too close to the doorway. So I'm going to be shortening both of them, both sections. So I got to make a, a few cuts. So I think something like that, right about there, doesn't stick too far out. And I will mark my cuts and then cut these two sections. I'm going to cut this right here in place, straight down there. Let me get this dang guard off. Put your safety squints on. Front goes in first. There's that one. There you go. So that's a, that's a custom custom job there. I'm going to duplicate everything I did here right up there. Don't want to miss it. I could fall.
One last step. It comes with a whole bunch of Velcro straps. So you have to, these things can slide around a little bit. So you take these Velcro straps, which are pretty nice Velcro straps, and you just strap them on to the arms. pounds, huh? Oh. Uh, take a nap up here. Uh, Getting a good thumbnail. I'd say they are some pretty strong shelves. Again, links in the description. If you had a full six foot section of wall, it would go much quicker. Probably have this done in 20 minutes. I didn't want to get too close to the doorway. So I shortened both sections so that I would have two arms on each section. And I clearly it'll support some decent amount of weight. Should I go for the upper bunk? Handyman always tests out the strong shelves. All right, I'm gonna get down. I got nothing to grab onto. Maybe I can grab onto that. Oh, this is not safe. Leave a comment below, questions, comments, concerns. If you've got safety concerns, I wanna hear all about them. Yeah.